Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This video includes 25 important and previously asked questions and answers about respiratory system. And we can see the first question. The volume of air that moves in and out of the lungs is called. The options are vital capacity, tidal volume, inspiratory capacity and functional reserve volume. The volume of air that moves in and out of the lungs. Answer is tidal volume. The normal tidal volume is 500 milliliter. Second question. The barrel chest is seen in. The options are emphysema, pneumonia, congenital disorders and asthma. Barrel chest is seen in. And the answer is emphysema. The emphysema coming under COPD, in people with emphysema, the air sacs in the lungs, that is alveoli are damaged and cause shortness of breath. Third question, the disorder which is known as reactive airway disease. The options are tuberculosis, pneumonia, asthma and emphysema. The disorder which is known as reactive airway disease. And the answer is asthma. The asthma is a condition in which a person's airway become inflamed, narrow and swell and produce extra mucus which make difficult to breathe. Fourth question, an emphysema patient can receive oxygen at flow rate of and the options are 1 liter per minute, 2 liter per minute, 6 liter per minute and 10 liter per minute. An emphysema patient can receive oxygen at flow rate of and the answer is 2 liter per minute. Next question, collection of pus within the lung tissue. And the options are embyema, lung abscess, emphysema and pneumonia. The collection of pus within the lung tissue. Collection of pus within the lung tissue. And the answer is lung abscess. In that embyema is collection of pus in the pleural cavity. That is collection of pus in the lung tissue is lung abscess and collection of pus in the pleural cavity is embyema. Next to us then installation of sclerotic substances into the pleural space via chest tube. The options are pleurisy, pleurodesis, pleural stripping and pleural tapping. Installation of sclerotic substances into the pleural space via chest tube. And the answer is pleurodesis. Next to us then, common side effect of salbutamol nebulization. The options are palpitation, vomiting, headache and heartburn. Common side effect of salbutamol nebulization. And the answer is palpitation. Next question, causative organism of SARS. SARS means severe acute respiratory syndrome. The options are adenovirus, respiratory syncytial virus, coronavirus and Ebola virus. And the answer is coronavirus. We all know that the new epidemic of world is COVID-19 is also caused by coronavirus. The SARS coronavirus identified in 2003 and is also called SARS-CoV. The epidemic of SARS affected 26 countries and resulted more than 8,000 cases in 2003. And the next question, normal level of bicarbonate level in ABG reading. The options are 10 to 12 MEQ bar liter, 30 to 35 MEQ bar liter, 22 to 28 MEQ bar liter and less than 10 MEQ bar liter. And the answer is 22 to 28 MEQ bar liter. Next question. Life threatening complication of asthma. The options are pneumonia, status asthmaticus, emphysema and bronchiectasis. Life threatening complication of asthma. The answer is status asthmaticus. Status asthmaticus is commonly known as acute severe asthma or asthma exacerbation. It refers to an asthma attack that does not improve with the traditional treatment such as inhaled bronchodilators. The next question, deficiency of which enzyme result in emphysema? 
The options are alpha-1 antitrypsin, chymotrypsin, amylase and pyruvic acid. Deficiency of which enzyme result in emphysema? Answer is alpha-1 antitrypsin. And the next question, second line anti-TB drug. The options are isoniacid, rifampicin, ethionamide and ethambutol. Second line anti-tuberculosis drug. And the answer is ethionamide. Next question, removal of entire lung is known as. The options are lobectomy, wedge resection, pneumonectomy and segmental resection. Removal of entire lung. And the answer is pneumonectomy. And the lobectomy is surgical removal of entire lobe of lung. And wedge resection is removal of cancerous tumor as well as a wedge shaped section of lungs around the tumor. And segmental resection is remove a part of lung larger than the wedge resection but smaller than a complete lobe. Next question, closed chest drainage is contraindicated for. The options are fractured rib Embyema, hydrothorax and after pneumonectomy. Closed chest drainage is contraindicated for and the answer is after pneumonectomy. Suction on the tube may cause displacement of heart or mediastinum into the pleural space with the consequent circulatory dysfunction. The next question, rapid administration of amniophilin cause. The options are dyspnea, vomiting and collapse, GI upset and dehydration. Rapid administration of amniophilin cause and the answer is vomiting and collapse. Next question, anticholinergic which is used for bronchodilation. The options are salbutamol, aminophilin, ipratropium bromide and salmetrol. Anticholinergic which is used for bronchodilation and the answer is ipratropium bromide next question common type of lung carcinoma the options are small cell carcinoma large cell carcinoma squamous cell carcinoma and adenocarcinoma common type of lung carcinoma and the answer is adenocarcinoma Next question, the term vanishing tumor is used for, the options are emphysema, loculated pleural effusion, interstitial lung disease and hydatid cyst. The term vanishing tumor used for and the answer is loculated pleural effusion. The loculated pleural effusion occur most commonly in associated with conditions that cause intense pleural inflammation such as Embyema, hemothorax or TB. The next question, commonest sign of aspiration pneumonia. And the options are cyanosis, tachypnea, chest pain and wrong eye. Commonest sign of aspiration pneumonia. And the answer is tachypnea. The aspiration pneumonia is a lung infection that develops after you aspirate food, liquid or vomitus into your lung. Next question. Bunch of grape appearance in X-ray seen in. The options are pneumoconiosis, histoplasmosis, bronchiectasis, hydatid cyst. Bunch of grape appearance in X-ray seen in. And the answer is bronchiectasis. The bronchiectasis is a chronic irreversible dilation of bronchi and bronchioles. In the next question. Which is most distinctive sign of flail chest? The options are cyanosis, hypotension, paradoxical chest movements, dyspnea on exhalation. Which is most distinctive sign of flail chest? And the answer is paradoxical chest movements. The flail chest occur when a segment of ribcage break due to trauma and become detached from the rest of chest wall. Next question, during pulmonary angiography, allergic reaction to contrast medium can be evaluated with the presence of and the options are hematoma of left groin, hypothermia, low grade fever, 
and strider during pulmonary angiography allergic reaction to contrast medium can be evaluated with the presence of and the answer is strider the strider is a high pitched whistling sound most often heard while taking in a breath next question a drug is to be delivered by nebulizer the size of a droplet from its humidification is the options are less than 2.5 mm 2.5 to 5 mm 5 to 10 mm 10 to 15 mm and the answer is less than 2.5 mm next question side effect of as associated with isonia acid the options are hepatic dysfunction renal dysfunction peripheral neuritis and optic neuritis side effect associated with isonia acid and the answer is peripheral neuritis the peripheral neuritis is weakness numbness and pain from nerve damage usually in the hands and feet the answer is peripheral neuritis the 25th and last question the normal total lung capacity of an adult person the options are 2 liter 3.5 liter 5 liter and 8 liter normal total lung capacity of an adult person and the answer is 5 liter thank you for watching Please subscribe my channel for more videos.